Summer 2019 in Europe illustrated the urgency of the climate crisis, which claimed its first victim, water. Today, 70% of the Earth's pure water is used for human consumption. It has become the most coveted resource on the planet. To save humanity, Wall Street wants to start a revolution. Make water profitable and create water markets, just like oil markets. Water falls from the sky, therefore it should be free. Whenever I hear that, I always say, diamonds occur in nature and they're not free. What would be their motivation in, in coming? Profits. It's changing a bit over the last couple of weeks. It's around $485 to $495 an acre mark today. You're just at the beginning of this water financial revolution. What about the guy that can't afford it? That guy still needs water. Who will come out on top? The planet, the people, or the markets? The Australian-based Macquarie Funds supplied London with drinking water for 10 years. Their parting gift when they left the market 56 billion dollars of debt. Like we know a farm in the last three months has already spent one million dollars on water. Sure. We're trying our best to keep the cows alive because we can't afford the water to grow crops for the cows. Uh, we can't afford very, very hot today. It's moving in from the Midwest where they've been dealing with this sweltering heat. And now that it's moving here to the East Coast, it could stick around for several days, becoming a full-blown... Make water a commodity. Listed on the stock exchange. Bet on its price. It's very immoral to trade water. Why would it be immoral to trade water? Because water is life. We pay for health care. Originally, over four billion years ago, water arrived on this Earth from space and has since survived all manner of catastrophes. But it is now being threatened by the men who dream of turning rivers into gold. As if nature was nothing but a giant supermarket. <laughs> 